Thank you, everyone. Today, we'll be hearing from Dr. Tara, who completed her PhD in 1998 from the Indian Agricultural Research Institute in New Delhi. Presently, she is working as project coordinator at ICAR, AICRP on pearl millet. Uh, she was principal scientist in the Division of Genetics, IARI New Delhi. Her research mainly focuses on quality parametrics in rice, crossability relationship and made hybridization in brassica species, genetic improvement, development of minimal descriptor, national test guidelines, reference varieties for DUS testing in soybean, use of marker technologies like AFLP, SSRs in discerning diversity in soybean, identification of QTLs for seed coat permeability, breeding for bold seeded soybean with improved seed germination. She has reoriented pearl millet program at IARI, developed hybrids and varieties identified QTLs for downy mildew resistance, agronomically important traits developed and identified high grain iron and zinc pearl millet lines. She has genetically uh, looked into genetic stocks for high lysine, high tryptophan, white grains, etc. She has developed a number of mapping populations for economically important traits like downy mildew, thermotolerance, along with a number of white colored pearl millet lines that are of use in the food industry. As a project coordinator, she has introduced minimum iron and zinc content in the promotion criteria in varietal release policy for the first time ever in the world, culminating in release of 15 hybrids and varieties with minimum 42 ppm iron and 32 ppm zinc, leading to the nutritional security of rural women and children. Under her leadership, research efforts addressing uh, recidity in pearl millet and development of pearl millet materials for arid zones were taken up. Uh, Dr. Tara received many awards, including the Outstanding Woman Scientists Award in 2016, congratulations, Outstanding Millet Scientists Award in 2018, Outstanding Research Contribution in Pearl Millet Improvement in the Country 2018, and the MS Woman Scientists Award in 2019, along with many best research papers and poster awards. She has published 88 research papers and reputed national and inter international journals. She has written six books and handled 20 research projects financed by DAC, the Government of India, DBT, AP SES Fund, GLDC Innovation Fund, BMGF, and ICAR. She has successfully guided three students for PhD degrees and eight students for MSc degrees. Thank you so much, Dr. Tara, for being here today. For the beautiful work they have done. Uh, Ma'am, uh, uh, we want to know more about you. Uh, could you tell us about your journey in becoming a plant scientist? Okay. Uh, I come from a middle class family. And uh, as any of my contemporaries, I also aim for becoming a human doctor. We used to have a common uh, entrance for uh, coming into biological stream and then getting selected for the medicine. Mm -hmm. Not clear for that. If from right from the beginning, uh, I used to have that I should contribute something to the society. So I thought medicine was the best profession. Okay. But coming into agriculture, uh, is uh, it was uh, purely on the behest of my father. Uh, when I could not uh, clear this medical entrance test, my father said that don't get uh, don't be disappointed. There is one more field where you can contribute and that is in agriculture. So coming into agriculture was just because of my father. And after coming into agriculture, once I decided, I made up my mind, okay, this is also a good field where I can contribute. Then I gave my best to this field. And I always stopped in my studies and I used to do whatever best I could. And when we came for post-graduation, Genetics and plant breeding was the uh, most sought after uh, discipline because we see that uh, not to belittle any strain or any discipline, but most of the successful things have come from plant breeding. And the plant breeding unit have uh, a comprehensive knowledge of all the fields. Genetics and plant breeding, they go hand in hand together. So we don't take them as two different fields. We take genetics and plant breeding together into one. And that is how. I started my journey uh, for 
agriculture in uh, 88. I start. I joined my BS agriculture. 92 I completed. Then 94 I completed my masters in Indian language. 95 I joined for uh, PhD in uh, genetics at Indian Agricultural Research Institute. I got good training from my teachers. My foundation for genetics and plant breeding came from my graduation and post graduation teachers. And then I read. It was uh, again polished under the guidance of uh, able teachers at uh, ERI. And the kind of exposure we got at IERA is uncomparable. Because they, the faculty, they used to do research, they teach us, and they train us in such a way that uh, we learn and also we try to deliver. So it is a very good kind of uh, training we got in uh, IERA. And all uh, being in Delhi, Many people used to come from worldwide and we used to get good exposure and we used to be means we used to imagine how we should be, hmm. then what we should be like. So that's how I came into this field and then uh, cleared in ERS agricultural service. My first posting was in Soybean in Indo. Okay. I worked for about uh, seven and a half years. After that, I joined and again in IRS uh, senior scientist. From there, from then I was working in 12 minutes. In 2017, I joined as project coordinator for uh, HRB 12 minutes. After joining immediately, this uh, benchmark thing has come and uh, we implemented this. And that is how we started taking lead in many things. Wow. Nice. Uh, Ma'am, my next question is that uh, according to you, which sectors of plant science research and agriculture will prosper in the near future? Plant breeding, no doubt, ma'am. <laughs> this by technology thing. See, uh, any discipline you work in, ultimately you have to get a technology or a product. Hmm, right. The kind of technology is product. That is your variety. We have very good varieties in rice, in wheat, in bird, many things. Without the variety or the material, you cannot get yield. Mm, right. With the help of different disciplines, we can develop, integrate all those uh, information and come up with the variety. So, I, in my opinion, breeding is the best, then followed by my technology. Okay, ma'am. My next question is that uh, how can we translate our knowledge of plant science into food security? This is what we're doing. Should yes. I mention that only? <laughs> the knowledge we gain, that is what we're trying to translate. We know about biofortification, we know about the advantages of these micronutrients. And that is why we try to bring that science and make it part of the breeding program and then bring it in food security. I said food security along with nutritional security. Yes, That's yes, yes. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, my last question is that uh, what would be your word of advice be to the uh, young women in their early PhDs who are aspiring to be plant scientists? Yes. This is a very important question and uh, anywhere you go without hard work, you cannot come up. Uh, young women, they should be prepared physically, mentally, psychologically and emotionally. In all these aspects, they should be very strong. And in the present condition, the women are faced with many issues. I don't say men are not having any issues, but women are having many problems. See, they have, first of all, though we are talking of equality, gender equality, still we find a unseen kind of pressure on the girls. They are not allowed so freely to come out. Whether if they are allowed also, the Women also, the girls also feel insecure because of the existing conditions in the society. So right. to prepare ourselves to overcome all these 
unseen hurdles then for women young women i say that economic independence and mobility independent mobility is a very important if you are economically independent and if you are uh, really mobile hmm. to go on your own the things this will solve most of the problems and anywhere you are you have to do hard work without there is no shortcut to hard work and in this competing world males women have to run twice or thrice more compared to males to show that they are better. so true <laughs> and sorry to call any <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. It was wonderful your presentation, the way you talk so passionately about your work. It's amazing. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I'm giving it over to Shubho. Yeah. 